There's a video from a uh, ex Genshin content creator. He's right now becoming homeless, and reveal at some point he was making forty thousand dollars a month by covering Genshin. So he was making forty thousand dollars a month by covering Genshin. Then how did he become homeless? Then he got burnout, and he tried to cover other games. Unless he never managed to really convert his success into his other games. He also got scam. Oh, he got scam. Okay. Okay, so this guy is it. Apparently, he's an ex Genshin content creator. And right now, he released a video say, I'll be homeless tomorrow. 19 minutes! Okay, first of all, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with this person. Uh, Demo Demone Kim? I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um... But I'll be homeless tomorrow. Uh, and just in case you guys see content, because I'll still be creating content. But if you guys see content, uh, just my face. Uh, okay. No background or strange backgrounds and no, no video game footage. Uh, that's the reason why. So um, he's going to be homeless, but he will still make content. How? led to this point of fact, this will be the third time. Uh, third time what? That we've been homeless um, in this past year. And uh, I want third time homeless. Third time. How do you be homeless for three times? Damn. What happened? He got scammed by these people. He was working one game with, and they ghosted him along with the money. Holy! He got scammed. He make videos in the car. He make videos in the car. Okay. But okay, why why three times homeless though, right? That's a lot of times to be homeless. The first time is because he ran away. <laughs> okay. I want to catch you guys up on everything that's been happening. Okay. Uh, this is going to answer a lot of questions that people had for the game that we were making or announced that we were going to make with Legacy Intertwined, which obviously is still a go. But due to some unfortunate circumstances. So he used to play Genshin? Twice. Um, and being betrayed by the people that I love most in my life. Um, and then he make a game. A little interesting. I'll give you guys the short and sweet version. So a year ago, we announced that we were going to be going into development for Legacy Intertwined. Now, I'll just say up front. So that's a uh, game. Let me just preface this by saying all of this is my fault. A lot of the 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 idiot decisions that I made due to the lack of inexperience that I had as okay. a creator and as a business owner um, created the problems that I'm experiencing now. So he lose money. And as a as a shitty way to say it. Huh. Things you just have to learn on your own. So of course, yeah. I announced without any knowledge of what it takes to make a video game that we we're going to make a video game because in my mind, um, you know, how hard could it be? So he basically decided to make a video game without knowing anything about making a video game. Like, I, I, I would assume he, know, he at least partnered with somebody who knows, right? Logically, wouldn't you partner with somebody who knows how to make a video game? He was doing good. He thought he could do it on his own. Ego kind of got him. I'm not sure if it's ego or not because I don't really like, I, I don't follow him. You know, this is my first time uh, looking started, at things. Uh, a GoFundMe page. And GoFundMe. My ideas. We started making videos about the content. Okay. Uh, even in the face of criticism, which <laughs> my egotistical, arrogant self, especially with the success that I experienced before, um, I told myself that, well, shit, if I made a YouTube channel, I can make a video game. So, the criticism... Wait, what? If you make a YouTube channel, you can make a video game? How is it related, though? YouTube channel is a video. Video game is a game. I don't understand that perspective. To fuel me, <coughs> which in turn uh, led us to do the GoFundMe page because I figured GoFundMe made sense. I thought that half a million seemed increased like the... uh, a valid number without really doing any research into finances, which we would do later, to okay. get the initial project started. So I did that. We raised $3,716, I think, of some change. And uh, this is when reality started to set in. Um, so $3,700 to make a game. I don't think that's enough, right? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's enough. So GoFundMe, he managed to get some money there, okay? After we raised that first $3,716, okay. um, I... I learned that to get a decent piece of concept art, a full character sheet, and for those of you guys who don't know what a character sheet is, it, it's yeah. just a, like a bunch of different angles of one character. So it's one uh, character, cost yeah. cost me about $4,400. $4, just for one character? Now, 
one character costs four thousand dollars. Ten character, forty thousand dollars. So one game, how many characters, right? Realistically, plus NPC, plus the main character. So there's so many characters, right? Four thousand dollars for one character seems a bit high. I don't know. Again, I, I'm not familiar with with the the character sheet stuff, but it does seem a bit high for one character. I will assume this is maybe for five characters. From that, um, there was lots of other things that I needed to get up front. Uh, specifically so expensive licensing, uh, specifically mounting software, uh, software called Perforce, which is like five thousand dollars plus five hundred per seat, uh, which we'll get into here in a second. And uh, I started to learn that software is five thousand dollars. What software is that expensive? The only one I know that's expensive is Adobe, uh, the Adobe Suite stuff, right? Really quick, how expensive this endeavor was going to be, but I was determined and I wasn't going to quit. Okay. Now, from this, um, my YouTube numbers started to go down because my focus started to be making this game, which in All turn right. led me to some potential investors uh, who had expressed interest uh, because I'd met them before, so I reached out to them. And uh, they had agreed to set up uh, a lunch. We met for lunch. Lunch was great. Lunch, uh, okay. I them the whole concept. I made like this cute little book uh, kind of highlighting what we were going to do with Legacy Intertwined. And they seemed excited, you know. And at the time, I didn't really understand, you know, what it meant to sit down with venture capitalists or understand like what it took or what side of the, you know, what that side of the business looked like. Um, so when they had said that they were willing to invest, um, <laughs> they asked me, you know, how much do we need up front? I was like, probably a hundred to two hundred thousand to start. Whew, and then from there, they had agreed to a hundred thousand, but they would give it to us in pieces. Okay, so I was like, okay, cool. So I asked them, I was like, so should I start getting so hundred thousand, but you get it in pieces? That means you don't get one whole lump sum. You get like maybe ten k over a few months. <clears throat> Did no research before he got the funds. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure as well, right? $500 original character by semi pro artist. People excited, should I start building a team? What should we do? They're like, get people excited. I was like, cool. So that's when I started making the videos and announcing, you know, what was going on. Okay. I, I even made a video saying that we had uh, potential investors at the time. And uh, from there, um, we started to build a team of 11 people uh, under wow. the impression that they were going to get paid. You know, we got some artists. We, uh, you know, shouts out to to our artists. Shouts out to our developers. Okay. To our programmers, and um, under the impression that they were going to get paid. So I was providing. We started doing the weekly meetings. So he already have artists, programmers, and stuff. Like it sounds like he already established like connections with a bunch of people, right? Uh, information and updates. <clears throat> and at this point, once I got the news that we were going to get funding, my my first stupid ass mistake was jumping in full feet before we even received the money. Okay. Now, what this okay. caused me to do was basically floor my YouTube revenue, uh, which I was making nothing, right? Because I wasn't really making content on games anymore. Um, my sole intent, because I realized how much time it was going to take for production production of this game, was to focus on the entirety of the game. So we did that. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, once <clears throat> I did that, they ghosted us. Okay. They ghosted. Uh, okay. They ghosted us. I mean, like, if there's no agreement and stuff, yeah, I think... So here's the thing, right? He basically meet up this guy for lunch, sit down for lunch, two random dudes that he's never seen before, not his family, just random stranger, and these two dudes promise, okay, we're gonna fund your game. We're gonna give you 100k, and we're gonna give you in pieces. And he just straight up believe it, and... <laughs> what? Uh, is there no like uh sign i mean like there's no signing or anything but yeah i feel like yeah of course right so they they ghosted him <clears throat> these people he met might be from genshin to sabotage him <laughs> wait what genshin <clears throat> so far that's the story that he's explaining right uh for now And uh, so what happens then? I think he has to. He still can uh, find funding from from the bank or something, rather than from random strangers. What was so? Things uh, possible. 
heartbreaking about that moment. Okay. Was not. That I had lost. Or invested my time. Part that killed me was that I had 11 other people with families that so were eleven on other... to deliver. Okay. I couldn't. So there's 11 other employees pretty much. So basically he already set up like an entire team, right? Like maybe like graphic artists, uh, programmers and stuff. So 11 people that uh, suddenly now they have nowhere to go, right? Kind of sad. I, I, I feel bad for the 11 people actually. I feel... <laughs> I mean, it's sad for him, but I feel more sad for the 11 people that work under him, right? Because, like, do they even get paid? How, how long do they work? How long have they been working? Have, ha, are they even getting paid, right? Have they been working for one year without any pay, right? Like, I don't know the full story here. So, <laughs> as a result of my stupidity, uh, going all in, a project uh, that we had officially no funding on, um, I had lost... Uh, we, I'd lost for myself and my family the place that we lived in at the time. So he sold his house, um, is it, because of that? So huh. push came to shove, everything fell through. Um, from there, uh, you know, luckily we ended up finding another place. Okay. And, uh, you know, from the place that we found, um, I started to ask myself, well, what else can I do, right? Because I don't ever want to be in that situation again where my entire life is predicated on somebody saying yes or no whether or not we can move forward so if you guys were here for that time you guys that's re you guys remember that's when all the crazy shit started so here's the thing right so i i don't understand this so he basically started a <clears throat> he started a team of 11 people to work on a game without getting the money first so he he haven't even gotten the money yet right it's just two random strangers that say yes we will give you the money later but i think he should have waited for maybe he got a little bit too excited or maybe he's like oh these guys say yes okay so i'm going to start finding now and then like he got ghosted by the the random strangers or something started to happen okay <laughs> uh <clears throat> it was around the time i was still covering Hon honkai star rail uh because i was like well i gotta get in i gotta generate revenue some way somehow so we can honkai star team, rail okay right? Uh, then I started covering D4 content, um, but the money wasn't fast enough um, because, you know, just to give you guys an idea, after we actually officially sat down, did the financials, it was about $760,000 for one year with a team of 11. Um, I what? Had... <laughs> That's almost 1 million. What game is he making? Holy. Oh, man, what game is he... Why, why don't he go for a simpler game, right? I think he tried to go for... Go for a simple game, go for something like a, you know, like a MOG, Nikkei kind of game, right? If you go for something like, that costs a lot, 760,000 US dollars, right? I, is this guy from US or is that like a different currency? Huh. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot, that's a lot of money. MMO is expensive. Oh, it's an MMO? I didn't know. Uh, I, I just... All I hear is a game and he said character art, so I assume it's like a gacha game. Already started to get into the actual business aspect and you guys might remember my weird ass streams from That's like, a lot, almost like, one million. You know, benches outside and stuff, because I was living in the street then too, we were sleeping in the car. Sleeping in the car, and, damn. Uh, it was crazy because from there, it's like I'm learning about, okay, this is what venture capitalism looks like. This is how you pitch companies. I pitched over 200 companies with this idea. Six companies responded to us in that period okay. of time. That's good. One of which invited us to a combine, but in order to go to this combine, we needed a playable demo. Another company said that we're interested in the idea, but we don't typically invest only in ideas. And it was through these moments that, again, I got of course, of course, companies want to invest in ideas, right? Because it's like, what if they lose money? Uh, companies want to make money as well, right? So if you have an, hey, I have a good idea. I'm going to make this game that do this, 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 this. But you never show them. You just say, oh, it's, it's, it's still in my brain for now. Like most companies are going to say, oh, until you can show us something, how can we truly believe in your product, right? <clears throat> rough. Yeah, it's, it's rough. So then I, I, I thought to myself, I said, okay, if we went all in, 
how do I how do how do I create revenue? And this is when I sold my Shares gaming that PCs small? Um, in order to get income, so I can learn how to. I mean, how much can you get by selling your gaming PC, right? 10k. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, how much do you? Huh. The problem is if he sell his gaming PC, that means he cannot make videos anymore, right? Because he's a content creator. So I'm not sure. Basically turn my YouTube experience or expertise at the time into knowledge. I figured if we could sell courses, I only need to sell so many courses or coaching or whatever, and we can have the revenue. So I sold everything that I had at the time left. Um, at the time I was sleeping in this, this other apartment with on a fucking the floor. Okay. A futon. Wait, he has other apartment? Was there something that was making you 40k at some point? I'm not sure actually. There might be like some Eating deeper... Ramen. Eating ramen, okay. And uh... <clears throat> I love ramen though. <laughs> He's so and, uh, whole gaming PC. I ended up buying into some course uh, for an ad that I saw on Instagram on how to do like Google ads, Instagram ads, stuff like that. Oh, so he tried to advertise his game. trying to move this YouTube course. Um, in the beginning, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, so I was charging too little. Uh, we, you know, we ended up landing like a couple of clients, but nothing that was, nothing that was game changing. But he was teaching some and course. From there, um, I didn't have any money, so my life turned into DoorDash delivery for twelve to fourteen to sixteen hours a day. Um, just to make a hundred or two hundred dollars. Um, so, so he started. Can... He started. I'm a bit confused right now. <laughs> so this is after the incident of him. Uh, so he pitched the idea to the company. He didn't get accepted. So he, what? He lose all the employees, and then now he become a DoorDash delivery. Is it? Now he's a DoorDash. Pay for ads and pay some bills. Right, and, and that was my life. Okay. Now, <laughs> throughout the process of that, you know, I ruined my credit score because all of the money that I could borrow, I borrowed, um, and everything that I could do to try to make this project happen, I I basically destroyed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, so there's this thing called the credit score. If you borrow too much money, but there's no return of it, it you can it can ruin your credit score for some bank, right? Um, In my life. Um, in an attempt to make this thing happen from there huh. um i had found out that like in the middle of all of that i found out one of my best friends of 20 years died um she was going through some experimental treatment for cervical cancer um and okay this is a lot <laughs> now he has friend that has cancer huh okay when it and I was right before my birthday last May, and when I tried to reach out and see how she was doing, the only thing I could find was her obituary. Shortly after that, um, I found out that the family um, that I had been working so hard to protect was the same family that was hiding money and basically uh, watching me drown uh -oh. uh, this entire time where a lot of the shit that we went through, the, you know, the two places that we lost could have been prevented. And that was a, that was a very, very uh, tough pill to swallow, too, because sometimes the people that you love most are the same people that will watch you die. I don't understand. Because you have to be, you know, you have to make sure that you're not so focused on um, watching, you know, people, you his know wife? people to stab you in the back. Who stabbed him in the back? The knife coming from the front. And, uh, you know, through that, I just kind of numbed out. And I couldn't drive Uber at the time because I, I didn't have my license because um, my license yeah. was on hold because I got a DUI back in like 2010 in, in, in Albuquerque when I was just like, you know, partying with friends. But then I figured out a way to actually get my license. So I started to... Wait, I, I don't get it. He was doing DoorDash and then he couldn't do Uber. Uh, we can... Li How do you do DoorDash but you can't do... Isn't it the same thing? DoorDash and Uber is the same, right? You need... Uh, you need the license. So this doesn't add up. Something doesn't add up, right? So it's like, doesn't DoorDash need license? Or DoorDash is a different thing? DoorDash is a bike, Uber is a car, is it? Is that how it works? 
So maybe he has two different licenses. One of it is the one that... Okay, okay. Bicycle? Oh, you can use bicycle. All right, all right. Makes sense. To drive Uber. And through Uber, they offered like this rental program where you could like rent a car through them. So that's what I did, right? And to me, I'm paying $500 a week for this fucking car. And uh, the rest of the money is, you know, I, you, I just couldn't stop driving. Wait, $500 a week? Whew. Because I had bills, I had to take care of things. And after, you know, finding out, you know, about this betrayal, um, you know, me and my daughter, uh, we tried to get our own place. And, you know, we found out that apparently uh, I, I couldn't, like, rent because I guess somewhere, somehow, I had an eviction in 2018 that I, you know, didn't know about. And uh, I didn't... I didn't wait, hold up. He has an eviction that he didn't know about. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. Uh, what is an eviction again? I need to make sure that I know the term. The act of process of officially forcing someone to leave a house or piece of land. What? He has an eviction but he didn't even know about. H how? I didn't know about it because when we moved into the expensive place that we had when I, when I, when I had became successful with Genshin. Genshin, you know, when okay. I was making $40,000 a month. <laughs> they didn't ask no questions, right? Because when you give them that amount of money up front, they're not going to ask you anything about your rental history. So we found out that we couldn't rent. So that pushed me into a situation. So back then, he doesn't have any renting history. Yeah, a lot of things that doesn't add up. Like, he has so many things, like 10 different things happening at the same time. That's crazy. He must be either the unluckiest person that <laughs> I've ever seen, right? Like, his family betrayed him, he got scammed. I mean, he didn't really get scammed, right? I feel like it's like the person didn't really promise him. Uh, they say yes, but they, they it's like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on, right? Situation where I had to get Airbnbs. So, we've been hopping Airbnbs. He lost his license. Um, every day for the past couple of months. Uh, just big, 100 huh. to 100 and, you know, 20, 30 dollars a day. Um, and I've been just driving Uber nonstop for the past, I don't even know, I, I don't even know, 16 hours a day, 16 to 18 hours a day, every day uh, for months. That's and a lot of working hours. the crazy hours. shit was my body finally just gave up, you know. I, I never knew that stress could create health issues. Of course, so yeah, it does. I nearly had a heart attack. Um, you know, and attack. the craziest thing for me was like my daughter telling me like dad and you know I don't want to go to sleep because you know I think you know when you wake up I, I thought she was gonna be dead and then from there I didn't listen um, so right after that a week later you know I end up viral pneumonia and you know when you when you can't even stand up without like feeling like you're gonna die because you can't breathe you okay it's kind of changed a little bit he got new, so, new pneumonia I took, hmm. I took the last little bit of money that we had. And um, because I was sick um, and I lost a lot of time doing Uber because, you know, when you're driving Uber, you just can't stop, bro. Like, because if you, anytime you're not driving, you ain't making money. And I couldn't That's pay true. the 500 a week that they, they had asked for or needed every week. And then they towed the car. So lost the car. And from there, I uh, just been creating. Okay, I don't understand why is he doing Uber when he was doing DoorDash earlier. And he was making money. So Uber, you have to pay five hundred dollars. But thought that he was making money, right? So why did he have to? Why did he go and do Uber then? If Dodash was making more money, so that was one point that I'm still a bit confused there. Like, did he just? Huh? Getting content, you know, getting back. In you the can do things, both. Is I he doing both? It seems like you know, he's struggling to pay the five hundred dollars. Hard lesson learned. Um, and from Uber the makes more. Uh, what I should. No, he said he's struggling to pay the five hundred dollars. <laughs> he literally say right now he's struggling to even pay the five hundred dollars a week for the car. I have done is sounds like he's to build my losing brand money and not to put full faith in people that I didn't even know. And from that, uh, you know, I learned lessons from two jobs being naive and stupid and spoiled and entitled due to the success that I had before, thinking that I can make anything happen in a record time. And life found a really sick way uh, to teach me that. So, 
through sacrificing everything and uh, okay you know just going all in the youtube numbers are slowly getting back up uh, my last hope because uh, my channel That's is sponsored good. by a network and they do advances like if you need an advance if your channel showing the revenue so now that the channel was starting to show revenue i requested an advance because that was like our last least, okay. raw and if they gave us this advance that would give us the 30 days that we needed to just really get he the channel back mistakes, yeah. momentum and those fuckers said no so what that means is that um right now my sole purpose is to find a place for my daughter to live um so yeah, that sucks then. He has a daughter. Like, it's okay to be homeless if you're alone, right? I, I feel like it's fine. You can, like, probably live in a car, like, find a way to live. But if you have a daughter and you have a kid, now it's like you're a bad parent, right? Because, like, you're, you're dragging... <laughs> You're, you're dragging this person with you it's such that this is why like yeah if you want to be married like you gotta, you gotta be careful right this is like your responsibility now uh especially for for an adult like if he's alone getting homeless is well, fine I, I don't think it's that big of a deal and then from there but, yeah, it'll be it'll be traumatizing for the for the child a responsibility <clears throat> create as much content as i can so So she doesn't have to worry about lack. The last couple of months have been pretty tough. Cheese powder and rice ramen. Cheese powder and rice Trying ramen? To figure out how the fuck I was going to buy a loaf of bread. Cheese bread. Half eaten sandwiches. But this video is not a, a I quit video or a You'll not, you won't see me. I just wanted you guys to be aware of all the shit that's happened over the past year, and that's just some of it. <laughs> it yeah, it sounds rough, just man. The short and sweet version. It sounds rough. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm committed to making this shit happen. So and he's not I giving out on the game. That no matter what happens, the only thing that can stop me is death, because I've almost died twice already still here so if you guys are wondering yeah i've been wearing this fucking shirt for 30 fucking days we haven't had a washing machine in 30 days fucking shower in this place don't work <laughs> only one part of the stove works 30 days did the shower you know, beggars can't be choosers wow so this ongoing same shirt 30 I days i want you guys to know my record is seven days shit happening in your life seven days the shirt will become like people. stinky 30 days it's gonna smell gotta learn sometimes when you do learn but yeah it, it late, sucks right that doesn't mean that it's time to quit so i'm gonna continue putting one foot in front of the other uh you guys keep doing the same like i said you guys can still expect content from me it just won't be you know the content that, you that is the to least of his problems i i, I know Mark but it's like pc into the fucking street and play um, but I, you know, I'll try to keep tabs on games as much as I can, so I can still provide at least some quality content. But it'll just be me on my phone uh, making these videos. And as soon as we generate enough revenue, uh, yeah, at least he still has his phone, so uh, there's that, right? Plus the advance from this company, then I just gotta take that loan. You can go to public to the toilet. Then that'll you know get us a place again. His story is sus. I don't fully trust his story. We can you know continue to keep them. You will never know, right? Cause like we are, all, he might not tell the whole yeah, picture, right? Give you guys a heads up, and uh, yeah, um, I guess you know if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. I'm gonna go stream. This will be my last stream for I don't know. Until oh, he's a streamer. Sort it out. Maybe I can stream on my phone at Starbucks or some shit. But uh, we'll figure Starbucks, it out. Starbucks, okay. Um, I love y'all, man. Y'all have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see y'all in the next video. Okay, that's um, yeah, that's that's sad actually. Any questions, comments, concerns? That is that is really sad. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. He shouldn't quit, but he should push all risky ventures on the side. Uh, but yeah, Demon Kim, I didn't even know about this. 400 okay people are don donating him money 400 dollars one of the formative uh 
experiences of my life when my single mother lost our house. I was 16, we ended up in the women's shelter for almost a year before we could get into the government housing into a dangerous section of the town. I know how traumatizing it is to have certainty, no certainty about how you will live day to day or when if you will end up completely on the street. It's terrifying and demoralizing. Yeah, it sucks, um, you know, but he has to like... Yeah, I mean like, I'll link it to you guys if you guys are interested. But yeah, it, it is a little bit unfortunate. Time for you to post your soap story, yo, 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 come on, come on. Your soap story will never be, be better than his. So his soap story is... <laughs> come on, man, I don't want to make fun of people like this, right? But to be, to be true, a lot of things happened to him. He got... I'm trying to recall, he did DoorDash, almost homeless. Uh, he has to eat cheese ramen. Is it cheese rice, cheese ramen? He has a daughter. Uh, he got scammed. He has 11 employees. He had to pay $5,000 for art, art for a character. Is it $4,000? $4,000. Uh, he has 11, I would say that 11 employees. He pitched to two companies. Companies want to look at his concept. Uh, what else? Oh, his family betrayed him? He never really explained that part. He didn't really he didn't really explain the family betray. I assume it's the wife, right? I assume it's the wife. He never say that part. I maybe it's cousin or something. Maybe it's like I don't know why why his family betray him and then like cause him to lose the money. Is it like why do you want to add cheese to the ramen? I have no idea. Uh, let me just leave him a comment. Just watch the video. Hope things will get better. Oh shoot, it's lagging. Why is it lagging? What is happening? Some people are one paycheck away from being homeless. Yeah, you gotta you gotta manage uh better, right? You gotta man can I not comment? Why is it so laggy? My YouTube has been extremely Oh yeah, he got evicted, is it? He got evicted. I just wanted to give you guys Oh uh, that means he he has a track record of not paying for rent, is it? Is YouTube is lagging? Uh, just watch the video. Sounds like you're going through a rough time. Hope things get better for you. Uh, I can't even type, man. Stupid lag. Yeah, I'll link you guys the video again, and yeah, if you guys want to help him out with one dollar, I should five hundred dollars as well. No, 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 no. I got my own problems to take care of here. <laughs> like, I mean, make sure to donate as well. No, don't, no, 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 no. I'm not that rich, okay.